This is a 23 foot bioactive ball python setup and it was divided down that center partitioning you can see there. It had a Madagascan tree boa and a Madagascan ground boa or doom rolls boa. Those animals are no longer here so this has been opened up and made into a big long habitat which the ball pythons from the education team have been moved into this setup. You can see from the grasses in this setup, you can see what the collection is trying to represent. The mosaic of fields and grassland habitat that Regis do occur in. The bird's nests that have actually been used to decorate in this enclosure, I think would provide the perfect opportunity for simulating nest raiding and expressing that naturalistic behavior in the Python Regis. This branch is almost two meters long and allows the snake to actually get two feet off the floor. In terms of being able to actually express that natural behavior, the snake can climb and get its body off of the floor. This setup actually includes a natural pond in the center of the enclosure, which allows the regis to fully submerge. They are using a series of T5 hood fixtures that are normally used for horticulture which allows you to create a greater spread of UV light over a greater area. They are also using infrared heaters directed beneath the T5 fixture to create a central basking spot below it. The two Python Regis in this enclosure, I am told they were actually fed yesterday. So this Regis is in fact digesting in a position they are thermally selected for. The pythons in this setup also share the setup with their millipede custodians, which I believe is either the Tanzanian red leg or the Kenyan red leg. I'm told by the keepers that the Regis have been seen to use this entire length of the setup. And I myself watched one of these millipedes walk the entire 20 foot length of the setup. 